This is the Singer Confidence 7465. It's a computerised machine. It's an embroidery machine and it has 50 stitches, including two one-step buttonhole stitches. If you've never used an embroidery machine before and you've seen the big computerised machines that maybe link up to your PC and you think, I'm a little bit out of my depth, price-wise and with all of those buttons and dials and screens, then this is a really simple to use embroidery machine. You simply choose your number and the numbers of the stitches are actually in the plate that comes out at the bottom of the machine. So you can see in an instant the stitch that you want to choose. You choose the number by pressing the dial up and down. I'll show you that in just a second. Put your foot on the pedal and you are embroidering. So if it's the first time you've used an embroidery machine, this is perfect for you. But of course, it's not just about the embroidery. It's about your mending and your hemming and your creating and your soft furnishing. So this is one machine for the whole home. This is a machine for everybody. Now those 50 stitches are on a little uh, guide that slips out of the bottom of your sewing machine here so it's always there with you and it'll take you from straight stitches, stretch fabric, some heritage stitches and this machine is all about the decorative so we've got scallop stitches and vines and smocking stitches um, you can do some of these stitches with twin needles as well and the ones that are the numbers with a circle around them it does say on the diagram are not suitable for twin needle sewing so for instance if you're sewing on a button you wouldn't want to use a twin needle but the machine won't allow you to and some of the the honeycomb stitches they won't take the twin needle so you know most of them actually do so you could do twin needle sewing with your satin stitches Stitches. With the little flowers, we've got um, diamond shapes on there and zigzags and vine leaves and cross stitch and they look fabulous with a, with a twin needle and what they do do when you press the twin needle button is to shrink the size of the stitch so that your needle isn't going to hit on the foot and break itself. So those are all of your stitches. What I was going to show you is the towel that I decorated. Towels you can buy plain ones very, very affordably but make them look more expensive and coordinate them to the colour of your bathroom. With this one, I've zigzag stitched a ribbon over this area and just folded some pieces of fabric and attached that underneath. But this is what I'm going to show you how to do. It's simply a decorative stitch. Now most towels, when you buy them, have got the plain woven section. So these are the bits that I'm going to embroider. So I'm just going to pop this underneath my machine and I've chosen a black because it stands out so well against the, uh, the white stitching. I'll start quite close to the edge. A function that you do have on this machine is a locking stitch. So if I choose my stitch first of all, and I'm going to go for the vine stitch because I like that, it's number 15. I just go up, one, and two, three, four, five. Now my machine is all set, so I'll put my foot on the foot pedal in just a second. But if I press this locking stitch at the front here, the machine will make four or five very tiny stitches all in the same spot. So you don't see those. It's not like you're going backwards and forwards, which can distort your stitching. So away we go. So foot on the foot pedal. And even though this is a thicker weight of fabric, obviously we're sewing through toweling here, I'll get a very clear and very precise stitch when it comes out of the other side. Do be warned, these are decorative stitches. You're going to be using a lot of thread, so make sure you stock up on the website while you're there. What you'll notice while the machine's sewing is how quiet and how smooth it is. It's not shaking around all over the table. And I'll show you the stitches in just a second, but when they come out, they look absolutely stitch perfect. All I'm doing here is guiding the, um, the towel through. So don't pull it, don't push it. Just make sure it's keeping in a straight line. I shan't do the whole of the stretch. I just want to show you again, if I press that locking stitch at the end, then my stitches aren't going to come undone. I'll lift the foot up. And there is a thread cutter just on the side of the machine. But look how perfect that stitch is. It almost looks as though you've taken a felt pen and drawn the stitch on. I'll do another quick one just by the side of it, just to show you the difference between this embroidery stitch and one of the satin stitches. So I'm going to choose, ooh, let's go for stitch number 37. Two, three, up to 37. And away we go. I'll do the locking stitch again. And then put my foot on the foot pedal. And away we go. Now the satin stitches are a more solid stitch. You see the needle is dashing side to side. So unlike with the vine stitch, which was almost like one continuous thread, this will give you a, a bolder and a more solid look. 
All of the stitches, of course, are explained in the manual that comes along with the machine. But you're just going to have so much fun transforming, recycling, or upcycling, as we call it, things that you have in your home already, making things like your towels colour coordinate with the bathroom, and uh, putting your own unique twist on your household furnishings. Again, I'll just stop that there. Locking stitch again, so we know it's not going to come undone. Lift up the foot pedal, take this out. Got a drop, drop in bobbin. You can see Wally there as well. But again, look at those stitches, aren't they beautiful? And they're very easy to do, and they give you a really professional finish. So again, it's a machine that you can personalise, you can decorate, and it's something that is so simple that whether you're a beginner or you're advanced, anybody can use this machine.